Good day and welcome to the Math Salon. My name is Dr. Anamendem. Today we'll look at three ordinary level paper one questions on the topic around geometry. So the first question says, given this figure you see here, what is the relationship between x, 5 and 7? If you look at the figure well, you see a symbol here. This is the symbol of a right angle. A right angle means the angle is 90 degrees. And we're asked to look for the relationship between the sides there, among the sides, x, 5 and 7. So, what is special about this type of triangles is that for a right angle triangle, the sides have a relationship built on the Pythagoras theorem. And the theorem simply says that in a right angle triangle, the square of the side opposite the right angle, which is a hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So the hypotenuse is just the side opposite the right angle. Always look at that. It doesn't matter if the angle, the triangle is drawn like this, and this is the right angle, this is your hypotenuse. If it is drawn like this, and this is the right angle, this is your hypotenuse. If it is drawn, yeah, you can imagine many other scenarios that are there, I don't know, but okay, just have an idea. The side opposite the right angle is a hypotenuse. And that's the longest side of a right angle triangle. So, according to the Pythagoras theorem, then it says, the Pythagoras theorem says, the square of the side opposite the right angle, or what we call the hypotenuse, that is 7 squared, is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, 5 squared plus x squared. That's the relationship. Question number two. One angle of a right angle triangle is 55 degrees. What is the value of the third angle? Oh, the third angle, but where is the second one? The first is that it's a right angle triangle. Therefore, there's already information given here about one of the angles, and that is 90 degrees. And this one is 55. So we are left to look for the third. For the triangle, the sum of all its three angles is equal to 180 degrees. So I would expect that 90 degrees plus 55 degrees, plus this third angle that we can call x. Let's say, let third angle be x. Then it means x plus 90 degrees, this one, plus 55 degrees should be 180 degrees. So I can take this to the other side in order to make x a subject, which will be my answer. And but when 90 goes, that will become minus 90. When 55 goes opposite the equality, I become minus 55. So x then is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 55 degrees. 180 minus 90 is 90. 90 minus 55 is 25 degrees. The third one says, given this triangle here, they say PQR is a right angle triangle. Which sides are shown? What is the value of x? Once again, we are told it's a right angle triangle, and they have also specified it again here. So it's given twice. The information is reiterated. So it means that what do we do? We see the side information. They are all here. So we apply again our Pythagoras theorem, which says that the square of the side opposite the right angle, the hypotenuse, is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. That means 20 squared is equal to 16 squared plus x squared. I'm left to look for x squared. I can take 16 squared to this other side and get 20 squared minus 16 squared is equal to x squared. Of course, you can look for that. 20 times 20 is 200 times 2, and that is 0, 0, 4. We need also 16 times 16 there. Then it is 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1 is 6 and the 3 is 9. 1 times that is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. If you sum this, you get 6. You get 5 and you get 2. That's 200. So this is 400 minus 256 is equal to x squared. This is 144. It's equal to x squared. So my x is equal to the square root of 144. And that is equal to 12. So x here is equal to 12. Thank you. Hope you liked it. If you did, please thumbs up and share with your friends back home. It's very important that we get as many people yeah, profit from this as possible. 
when I see many people looking through the videos, I'm encouraged to move on with the work. Bye.